Hello everybody, Andrew Hempton here on Game Channel. Welcome back to the New Order, the last days of Europe, and to my Greater German Reich playthrough with uh, Hermann Goring as the Führer. Uh, we did last episode help out in Africa, the Africa Shield, if that's how you properly pronounce them. We did help them win in South Africa. Our Fireland is right to ask everything of the people, especially in times of great need. Are you possessing the slaves of every family in Germany should be the one of great need? Uh, that's fine. Our GDP growth will decrease. Not ideal. But uh, we do have to get this money issue down. Unfulfilled import requests. Who is not important? What I need. Who was I training with? Reich's Commissarat. Um, oh, wow, you don't like us. Embargo does. You dicks. India. We can be good friends. Oh. Get in the bin with that. Get in the bin with that. Total victory in its aftermath. Great increase of royalty of the militarists. Increase the public militarists by a small amount. 10 stability and 10 war support. Good. That's good stuff. The hero turns. Hans Spiedel has returned. Uh, which decreases the influence and increases the loyalty of the small amount. That's fine. Of course, Speedle's return to Boer Republic is there. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if they collapse this time. Because they, they have won. So there is no need for them to... Uh, I don't think there'll be any revolts or anything occurring. Why are you unified this... Okay, I uh, volunteer forces have returned home. The brave Panzer divisions. Hey, we have several prisoners of war in our fireland. They are useless in the camps. It is necessary for us to put them in work. As former enemies, right? They can redeem themselves through hard labor. Germany in ruins is modified by minus five, 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 and zero. Yeah, we do need to. Do we have to have a completely? Yeah, not have Germany in ruins. Actually, that would write sharply. Uh, even more austerity. Oh, GDP growth. Our reserves will see have a large influx of cash. I don't need one of the Kriegsmarine one because we are going to need a somewhat of a navy. Even more austerity. We cannot afford to waste anything during this time of great need. Our people have to endure greater measures, which must be must res would restrict their access to useless luxuries and worthless things. Yeah, stuff the people. Stuff the people. So we lost unifies West Siberia. So we've got the Euro military districts. We have the Grand Principality of Central Siberia. The the, the West Russian Revolutionary Front and um, Samara are going to have a showdown for rule over here and um, over here things are not um a lot of these boys are in anarchy of course it might be cheetah that wins but we'll see what happens with them we'll see what happens with the dam as well well the italians well, the italians the spanish well actually the iberian union will they be able to you know fix it Okay, that is the work Work the blood. Uh, every sweat, every drop of blood and every tear must be used. Every hand and every mind and heart and soul must be occupied with the duty of restoring the fatherland. From the ashes of war, all people, German or not, shall go through every trial necessary to rise up to the heavens. Right, good, good, good. And I think we'll get the last ones probably in here somewhere. Tax them all. Tagaki... Hagaki, I'd like to Prime Minister of Japan. Yeah, modifies Germany and ruins there. So this will probably get rid of it. Work the banks. So we do still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more focus. The shield broken. So they won. But the shield has Oh, they've joined together in one. Hmm. Okay. Not what I was really expecting them to do. They don't have a tree either, though, sadly. Legacy of the Traitors. Drums of War. Oh well. That's interesting. 
from our financial sector. There are dead ends and bottomless holes in our financial sector. In both the public and private spheres of managing money, it seems that the treacherous SS and the traitorous Spearites exploited before lay open to us. Oh, exploiting our banks, are they? Hmm. Right. Oh, yes, we were basing off our war plans on those, our neighbours. That's what we're doing, war plan A. War plan B is a hella ambitious war plan. England's involved in this one. Then again, you are the kingdom. You don't. Rab Butler. Hmm. Okay, what's the navy size? Army size, 18 to 25 divisions. Yeah, okay, we just have to beat the navy. Right, find the cash. Loans are always useful. In times like this, our Fireland must have loans. Our debt will increase. Ugh, money, money, money. It's a problem. Bohemia shouldn't be too hard to take down. Poland shouldn't be too hard either. 7 to 13. Wait, why are we... we wait, why are we queuing divisions? I had, I had no need for these. We're still short of some equipment, but uh, for the most part, we're good. United States of America, what are you up to? United we stand. No one cares. Oh, there's the war between Samara and the Western Russian Revolutionary Front. Okay, cut the excess. If anyone has too much, they can always remove the weights that will the weights of them. In the case of our fireland, we have too many places and too many people to support, or our government cannot handle the strain of such weight. So our reserves will receive an influx of cash. That removes Germany and ruins there. Nice. Tax them all. Exploitive taxation. Let's so unlock the MEFO bill system, a system to increase GDP together with inflation, which will cause a decrease in GDP growth for some political capital every month. But if we do not properly handle these bills, there will be hell to pay. I think what we'll probably do is do a refreshing new idea, and then I want to do some warring. Good old war plan O. Denmark into the Baltics and secure Poland and Bohemia. Seems like a good idea. Right, a fresh new idea. Explain our people's faith in us and works wonders. We must keep doing this. We must produce new ideas of milking more cash out of them. Wow. Very, um, it's very nice of us just exploiting the people. How many divisions have you even got? 5 to 11, 6 to 14, 6 to 14 as well, 4. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, we've upgraded our planes. That's looking good. Doctrine we're working on. You are finished. Bit ahead of time. It's a bit ahead of time as well. Go ahead and get to infantry weapon improvements. V I I I. -I. <laughs> Aha, Germany and Rune's gone. Prepare the army. Ah, pff. Denmark, Ostland, Netherlands, Bohemia, Poland, and Slovakia. Every journey begins with the first step, and the path to restore the Reich's glory lies in securing its immediate and rightful sphere in Central Europe. These operations will be given the name War Plan O. Resistance is expected to be futile and minuscule. Okay, so we've got our three armies ready to just mop the hell up these guys, basically. Mopping them up like there's no tomorrow. I guess it's the 60s artillery rocket assisted projectile. Denmark's not going to stand too much of a chance against this. We only have 44 ships, I've just noticed that. We are, we are producing... Oh my gosh, outdated fighters. Outdated fighters, this cannot stand. Plan always done. Guess we'll prepare the army. The fair martyr sh uh, was shattered in the Burger, uh, the Burger Krieg, split into four and set against itself. While we may have gained the greatest share, more than half of our office cannot be trusted, and who knows how many uh, enlisted men. A pruning down is required. Further still, the war pr 
proved that our tactics of dating are here old fashioned and must be reformed if we are to reassert control over Europe, reassert, sorry, control over Europe, uh, so that we may crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and hear the lamentations of their women. Okay. Annex Bohemia. Okay, we just outright annex them. Nice. How am I supposed to crush these guys if I'm not even allowed to... Wait. How do I get the war goals? Oh gosh. Right, we've opened up... Oh, my days. What the heck? Okay. We've opened up a lot more. Um, finish off the SS. Uh, let's finish with the SS. Begin a mere personal guard to the Fuhrer. The SS developed into a malevolent tumor that Germany can no longer tolerate. Uh, lackeys of Himmler. Yeah, we're going to get rid of them. But how, how am I to declare war on them if I don't have any... Like, we complete ax annex you, but... Oh! The reclamation begins. Probably want to do that. I'm a tit. I am a tit. I am a massive tit. The purple scare. Okay. Oh, how did we get this to start? Oh, I don't know, dude. I, I wonder how. Okay, we're going to have to get a little bit speedier now. Well, well done, dude. Idiot. Yeah, because we declare poor on Poland there. So we do have focuses to get through. Yeah, we need to be quick. Oh, crap. We need to be hella thick. Hella quick. Oh, they're not hella thick. I'm already hella thick. Still 320 days, so it shouldn't be too bad. We'll go after the Dutch. They're already ready to do. Um, why do we have so many ballistic missiles? Right. Uh, 400 of you boys. Split you up into hundreds. You shall suffice, probably. So let's uh, go after uh, the uh, Dutch. Oh, okay, we annex them. Their lynch and their foolish mistook the rights internal scholar for a moment of weakness. They've broken free from embrace and it falls upon us to bring them back to the fold. Indeed, they shall return to the fold. Good. The final ultimatum. The Dutch government had to know this was coming. As soon as they tried to slip free, a countdown started to the movement. To the movement we would return. The moment, rather, can I read? Uh, we, we are merciful, merciful, so we will give them an ultimatum. Slip back under the Germanian's thumb once and for all, or all transgressions will be forgiven. Price resistance need not be stated. Will demand that the Dutch reintegrate with into the Reich, or will be crushed by the mighty hand of Wehrmacht? Yes, Vent, it was inevitable. It was bloody inevitable. What, did you, did you seriously think you'd be fine? The reclamation begins. For Germany. Hell yeah, for Germany. Is a final ultimatum. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, we declare one Denmark there. Sorry, I need to read that. Let's see what it says. Uh, one of Germany's greatest generals under his command, Prussian soldiers marched through Denmark, Austria, and France, trampling each under their heels and forming the second German Reich in the process. War for Shield, 
Shells with Holstein in 1864, which then Germany took the Danish Peninsula. Hitler's like put the rest under our supervision, and we must finish the job. The last time it took only six hours, so this time should be a squeeze. Nice. Did the Dutch resist me? Preparations are complete. Panzers are fueled and ready. Trucks idle on the border, filled with nervous recruits. Fighter taxis on to their runways, ready to take to the skies. It is time to end the charade of Danish events once and for all. Loot the Netherlands. Can I do that, can I? The Dutch refuse. Oh well, disappointing. Hello there. And just remember, these are actually the flipping Bohemian divisions we're using here. That's, I guess we'll have air superior. Right? Yeah, we do. We do indeed. And we're going after Denmark as well. Go beg or go home, people would say now. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I was going to wait till he actually moved up the way. Um, all the style liquor issue. Looks like a chances, a last chances. Growing advice is a talk. I think we'll go ahead and get Poland out the way. Fall Augustus. In a grim aftermath of a great civil war, we have been forced to face the inadequacies that the previous administration don't have accounted for. The uh, VAT, probably our most successful vassal, is a rotten dumpster fire of effort proportions. Biting the hand that fed them, the bastard Poles declare independence. Fear of Goring will not let this stand. Hell yeah, we won't let this stand. Oh, bollocks. I didn't see what that said or what that was there. Oh, oh there goes Denmark. Boom, boom, boom. Mark John Copenhagen. Yeah, we'll sort them out soon. Tank build up. Yeah, let's go with the army experience. Why not? Yeah, can we get some more boys down here just to help with this push? We're not struggling too badly. I just want additional divisions. Wartime economic boom. Oh, good. It's all good stuff. Danzig to war. Demands have been ignored. Threats laughed off and just fends his prep. It's clear Poland will not go quietly with a into the long good night. Armies have assembled the post border and arranged fear enraged fear of Goring is going to speech at the border, comparing the advanced troops to the armies of old, so heroically defeated the Slavic mess in the days of their forefathers. Oh, we haven't signed divisions, do we? Ready to rock and roll. Ah, uh, yep, the overwhelming numbers now. Right, Poland's getting invaded. Let's do Operation Fruhling. In the dead heat of the uh, Götterdarmarung, Reichs, uh, Reichs Protectorate, Slovakia has hit bit the, the hand of the fed bastard ethnic Slavs and our protectorate have overthrown the loyal aspects of our duly appointed government. Now they shall die for it. Oh no! Oh my days, our economy could crash. Right, NATO, not all is lost according to our Supreme Intelligence Services. There are surviving loyalist forces in the Reich's uh, Protectorate who seek to restore order and stability. Good. Oh my gosh, we could have an economic collapse. Conquest of the Netherlands. At least he's at Diceland as a puppet. Military and industrial uh, participation will decrease. Welcome back to the game. I need to be at peace. Let's finish up Poland quickly, quickly now. To build the slots, remove. Oh my gosh, why? Uh, there's 
return of the NSNAP. Wait a second. Final ultimatum. Despite our. Actually, no, let's not do that either. Go ahead and do the little style liquor. Diana will serve us to come up on top of the struggle for the control of Ausland. Well, he will be returning to our sphere of influence. That's for bloody sure. Yes, go tank. Yes, you have done exactly what I wanted you to do. Apparently, there's no ignoring Shore's advice. Yep, that's fine. We'll take his advice. Lublin's the capital. Take it. We need to be at peace, goddammit. Oh, we were six days away. Oh. Wow. Yeah, we do not want an economic crash. That's the last thing we want. No second chances. Oh, it looks like we're going to be invading them. No second chances. Uh, they have... Yep, we are just killing them. Just outright killing them. Fall of Warsaw. Fantastic. Now he's got Slovakia and Usland to take, and that will be glorious. Ah, the Reich is growing. Here is ready, it's gone. Don't even know what that was actually doing for us. Our Legion stands ready to destroy the tra traitors. What I'm actually going to do is going to do the final ultimate here. Despite our repeated attempts at coaxing, threatening, and pleading with Slovakia to rejoin the Reich, the breakaway state stubbornly refused the negotiations. Oh well, negotiate this. Our army. I'm just thinking I could definitely get um, some close air support in the air as well. That would probably be very beneficial. Yeah, some basic jet casts. I guess we'll get uh, 200 of them boys. And something big's happened. Ah, ultimatum response. Yes, they have decided to accept becoming our puppets. Good. You've seen sense after all. March on Bratislava has been done. The hunt resumes. Oh, I'm sorry. Where the hell did I read the hunt? Oh, there. Right, prepare the men. The Fairmark loyalists proved themselves capable of fighters during the Civil War. But their casualties were high, and the vast majority of our army is now a fresh conscript with only basic training and no sense of com um, commandery. Commodity. Commandery? Two is there. Two is there. Can't get another hundred out, can't we? Interceptors, jet cast. There we go. I'm sorry. How the hell do we go? Set the limit. Yeah, at least Slovakia saw sense. Someone, at least, has went down without a fight. I guess we'll push on to our rights, Commissarat, Ukraine, and uh, onto the Moscow puppet as well. Prepare the men is done. Brothers no more. Division speed and recovery rate. Oh, civilian factory construction speed is awful. It's awful. I forgot when release here. Oh. Hey, you peed off the English. Don't know which one done that, but it's not very happy with them. Made them not very happy with them at all. 
for there's no more is done. Let's go ahead and the Eastern Blitz. All of a sudden, there's the heart of a colonial empire has remained in hostile control for long enough. Indeed, it has. What an interesting front we got on going over here. Subbies. How many civilian factories do we have? Ah, uh, not getting built very quickly, but we could do maybe another. Yeah, another six would probably be fine for the time being. Four. Oh my gosh, we can literally extract money out of everybody. Okay, impending economic collapse in 30 days. Let's go ahead and fate of the Poles. Let's do that. Subjugated once more under the boot of our unconquerable uh, will, the Poles will once again learn that resistance is futile. The grim acceptance we had hoped for has not yet set in among the population, and we will remind them of their place at the bottom of the pyramid. Ah, it was taken out of Ausland without any, uh, any trouble whatsoever. Our tanks penetrating through. Okay. To Auriga. Torch the flags. Okay. We are torching flags. Uh, turn of the NSNEP. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Stability and more support for them. And they get... That's cool. That's fine. That's fine. Dockyards. Oh, yeah. We're just producing subs. Okay. That's fine. Ah, loot Ausland. Go ahead and loot them. Why the hell not? Uh, a purify the blood. Dutch are so close to German to German it hurts. Only the Scandinavians are more uh, rarefied rear in blood. Still they have stubbornly resisted our efforts at further integration. Ah, look at that. They will be joining us. They will be joining us once and for all. A greater Prussia. Fantastic. We're trying to yen S N E P. Everyone there. Fantastic. Europe gets closer to salvation. Good. An integral part of the Reich. Once more German troops march through the fields of the Netherlands. Once more the Swastika flies over Amsterdam. Yeah, we just need to finish off these. Swift victory increase the loyalists. Prolonged occupation. Let's take the stability loss from that. We have internal affairs, RK Slovak, New Rex Commissarat, or fold it back up. I'll go for the New Rex Commissarat. Anyways, march on Copenhagen. Copenhagen has once again surrendered to the might of the Wehrmacht, and naturally this calls for celebration. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Swift victory, just a planned armoured fist to here, pushed through the, uh, the Jutland while the Danish Isles fell to the combined assault of the Kreuzmarine and Luftwaffe. That's a complete lie. That is not how it will be remembered in the history books at all. A war towards in the Great Denmark, there's no lead to the growth in our national stability, but the, the, please, their loyalty. How is the loyalty? Their loyalty is absolute. So I think I think we can maybe just go ahead and work towards integration. It's only the right that Denmark be incorporated into the right proper as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and do that. We're just annexing people now. You know. Uh, now before I actually do go ahead and do the um the next focus, I need to where's the um where's the naval capacity? Wait, well, must be down here. It's definitely down here. Definitely down here. Yes, we need to improve it because it's only up 10. Uh, 177 days. Mm. 
Ah, we can wait that. With rebellious Slovakian military forces dismantled and the treasonous government ousted, now is the time to root up dissent before it goes underground. Let's do that. Oh, we'll start War Plan A. And create Ausland. Oh. Hunt resumes. Okay. Uh, we'll see. I'll see on that. Yeah. Let's let's go ahead and do the uh, the new race commissariat. Increase the power and influence, and increase our loyalty. So, can I want the power to drop then? Under our thumb. Yes, you are. Do I want to integrate Ausland? New Reich's Commissarat. Good. Right, let's do war planning. Now the Reich's control over Central Europe has been re-established. The Wehrmacht is already looking at, to the Balkans, Scandinavia and the British Isles. And the rest of the Reich's Commissarat in the East. War Plan A will involve securing control of these vital areas through German steel. This shall not only restore the Reich's pre-Civil War territory, but also bring order to the nation still defying us in the Baltic and Balkans. Okay, so... When's the Italians? They're not till the next one after that, are they not? Or plan B. Oh gosh, we have so many. We've got Ukraine, uh, Reich's Commissariat of Moscow, and Norway, Sweden, Finland, Romania, Hungary, Serbia, British, and the British. Oh, hot dickety dog. How long do we have to do these ones? Oh, we have 400 days. Okay, got a little bit more leeway. Let's go ahead and do war plan A. With our uh, ferry secured, it is time to look onto what used to be part of our great empire. That is cool, that's cool. We're about to loot Ausland. Uh, did I start any research there? I have not, and I know exactly where we're going. We're going in here, and we're going to here. 177 days, because I need to be able to land 50 divisions. On the British Isles in one go. It uh, reduces the risks of being killed off. Um, that's Lapland. Where's Where's Moscowin? Kingdom of Hungary. You know, let's kill Hungary. Operation Magareth, the invasion of traitor nation of Hungary. Um, okay. Hungary's a traitor to us. Ah, if Hungary's a traitor, they shall die a traitor. Nine divisions. Ah, oh, we'll just, um... Send out the reds. Actually, we can, what we can actually probably go ahead and do is we can... Let's just send over the whole bloody army. No reason to be around the bush here. Let's just, let's just get right into them. Uh, experience gain will decrease by 20, but our loss will reduce by 20%. Armor attack will increase by 20%. Oh. oh, I like these. A quick war. Grip Titans. Consider this a test. Our energy is going to be efficient invasion. Loot the Balkans. Loot the Balkans. Money, money, money is what we need. Decreases the loyalty, loyalty of the militarists. We will have to be careful. An efficient invasion and an armored assault. How strong are the Italians division wise? 649k. We'll definitely not be going after Heinrich anytime soon because he'll blow us all to hell. Right, Slovakian remilitarization. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, 
the cock over wait wait through them over them around them quite like choice to from old friends bulgaria returns to the pact oh okay okay all right a quick war time has come preparation has be, uh, been made and the plan of attack is decided it is indeed decided we are going to kill them all this is what you get for betraying us Get what you deserve. Improve that to air. Nice. Good, 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 good. Good. Now we'll go ahead and get the... That's a well ahead of time still. That's still ahead of time as well done, you idiots. Uh, so is all that jazz. I guess we'll get the Unimog 404S. Hello, Hungary. Long time no see. Hansa. Lessons of... Gains Fortress Buster. Lessons from Mascawin. Peter. Let's go for Operation Ty uh, Typez. Um, yep, cool, 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 cool. Call to arms. No offense, stands with the king. Um, Okay, they oppose us yet again. Well, sorry, but we have we have land to reclaim. The southern front, Bulgaria has long been a loyal ally of the Reich, but despite being opposed to the Trimovate, they have been of little utility in recent years. Until now, let's reach out to them and see what's going on. They have strengthened defenses against the German giant, and they've still been absolutely destroyed. Fantastic. How strong is Romania? 32 divisions. Oh, our first real test. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And we shall be back very soon for some more. Until then, take care. True bye for the now.